Tupac Shakur is one of the most prolific and legendary rappers in hip-hop history, and his murder, one of pop culture's longest lasting mysteries. Impact by Nightline takes a closer look at the investigation into the rapper's murder, as well as Tupac's enduring legacy. Nightline's Ashin Singh spends time with rapper Simba, who says Tupac's imprint on hip-hop is still fresh. What's your favorite Tupac song? Um, Changes. He's sold already right here. Uh, still classic. I see no changes. I wake up in the morning and I ask myself, is life worth living? Should I blast myself? I'm tired of being poor and even worse, I'm black. My stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch. What's that song mean to you? Everything, bro. We gotta change it. We gotta grow. We gotta do better. To this day, it's like relevant to this day. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we're joined now by Ashton saying, okay, we have to talk about all of the stuff that you've discovered as you've worked on this. Decades after his death, his legacy, very clear. You could see it there in that clip. What is it about Tupac that and his career that's made him relevant even today? Yeah, I mean, Eva, you saw it right in that clip right there. Pac is the blueprint, right? So much of what we see in hip hop today and how multidisciplinary artists can be. I know whether they can be actors, ambassadors for different brands, influencers, Pac did it first, you know, and you saw it here with Simba rapping bar for bar 27 years later. His legacy is enduring, and, and the impact that he's had on the greater culture, like, cannot be denied. Yeah, and people forget he was so young mm -hmm. and so smart, and you st you were still feeling his impact some years later. Let's talk about the increased, uh, you know, thoughts and, and process that's going into this investigation now and why it's so ramped up. Yeah, so there was a raid on a, on a house in July in connection with his murder, um, Keefe D. Davis's house in, Las, in the Las Vegas area. And they recovered bullet casings, they recovered cell phones, a magazine that had Tupac in it. But you know, this has been a case that's been cold for, for 27 plus years now. And people who are familiar with Pac, people who are familiar with the case, they all seem to know, they all seem to think they know who did it, right? And so when it comes to a case like this that's in the hands of the grand jury now, people aren't really holding their breath when it comes to looking for closure. You know, the search one, it, it felt like it came out of nowhere. So tips are still pouring in some 27 years later? Tips are still pouring in. The La Las Vegas PD, Metro PD, they're still getting calls of, about Pac's murder. It's a case that, that even though people think that they know what happened, it seems to not die, as with Tupac's legacy. Ashton Singh. We also have to say it's your first time on the set with us. It We've is. had Welcome your pieces back. on our show before, but it's nice to have you actually sitting here. Thank, Thank you guys for having me. Well. I appreciate it. Good. Yeah. 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 It's good to see you, man. Always. And Who Shot Pac? The Murder of Tupac Shakur is now streaming on Hulu. A new episodes of Impact by Nightline drop every Thursday. And we wish you well, Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.